The live action movie of the beloved Ghost in the Shell is based on the 1995 movie and the animated series. The reason why I say this is because it's basically a new origin story for the major mixed with elements of the other incidents. Even if the story is now more character driven with a betrayal and revenge arc thrown in, it never felt it wasn't a typical Ghost in the Shell story. I will call this diet Ghost in the Shell since it does have the same elements as we come to know, but it's not executed as well. Scarlett Johansson's performance reflects the 1995 movie and the Arise portrayal. She stares a lot at a camera and sometimes speaks like a robot. Other times she is more naive and does show some vulnerable emotions. Which is not a good thing as the Major should have a commanding presence. But regarding how the story is set up as the first year on the job, is not bad I guess. Fortunately, Pilot's portrayal of Bateau is more spot on. He is a likeable character and he deserved that little backstory about his eyes. The chemistry between Major and Bateau might not be as strong as in the show, but is still present and has a charm to it. The rest of the section 9 is yet again pushed aside, but consider how the story is more driven for our main character is not that a bigger concern. Except for Aramaki who only speaks Japanese for some reason and has some cool scene with a gun. Action was kind of lackluster, but boy does the visual make up for it. Yeah, they went far with the details and it showed that this movie is more introduction than a standalone. They took scenes that people liked and they just added in like, hey, do you like the opening scene? We got that. You like the fight with the camouflage? We got you cover. And what would a gits be without Major ripping her arms out? It's a bad habit. Other than that, this movie might be one of those live action movies based on Japanese comics to be good. So yeah, I really hope this movie will have a follow up just to justify the character and the scenes more. As for now, I'm Taff and I give you my concern.